morning Rina How are you today Rina? Hi Larry. Hi Andrew. Oh dear. Morning, morning, Rosalyn. Yes, I should send you a behind a scene photo later. So the cats are sitting behind the camera. They are supervising today. Okay, so today we're gonna to do some. Hi Lawrence. Today we're gonna to do some uh, rotation, right? Um, circles against the wall. Uh, but before that, we're gonna do with uh, with a tubing. Okay, so we're gonna do with a tubing. Oops, I just realized that my cat <laughs> chew on my tubing. Okay. So um you have a tubing or tower will do. Uh, make sure it's long. So we're gonna start with some uh, warming up the shoulders, the pelvis and the spine run before we get you to uh, do it against the against the wall. Um I'm gonna show you some variation how we can do uh some rotation right against the wall. We did something similar at the beginning of the circuit breaker, I think. Um, but I realized that uh, most of us need to break down the movement a little bit more. So that's what we're going to do today. So have a if you have a tubing, it doesn't. In fact, you don't want the resistance to be too high. Hi Tan. Okay. Uh, and tower. Um, preferably you can kind of like it, it's really long. Um. Don't have to make sure it's not too thick because you're gonna kind of like be gripping it for a minute, right? So you don't want to have too much. Uh, you don't want to fatigue your your grip too much. Okay. And now we're gonna to proceed to the wall and show you some um, movements you can do against the wall, right? Working on the bridge. Hi, Michelle. So let's wait for. Yep. Let's start in a minute. So this is a lesson that never let your pets play with your tubings. <laughs> okay, so let's start. So what I do is to grab a tubing. Okay, and make sure it's not too tight. You're gonna kind of like stand. I'm gonna show you this way. So you're gonna kind of like lock the elbows. Or even the tower. So I'm gonna to pull it apart, right? Like this. Now from here, I'm going to lift my chest up, pull it apart. Okay, and I want to be comfortably able to push my chest out, extend my spine, from my elbows, and bring it behind. Now, whenever you feel that you have to do this to get it behind you, like bend the elbow to get it behind. 
you're, you're not holding wide enough so it needs to be wide enough that you can almost like making a circle right with your, with your arms pull keep it locked and you should feel your shoulder blade kind of squeeze together and coming back okay pull them apart lift the chest up and back okay we're gonna try that you can watch the 10 minutes now girls we're gonna try that just for 30 seconds because it's quite tiring if you've never done it before right so let me set my timer Okay, ready? Okay, ready, and we go. So, this way, pull them apart as, as, as wide as you need. Make a circle, chest up, chest nice and smooth. So, I can think about as I come behind, I'm gonna breathe in, right? the shoulders, it works the shoulder blade. So next thing you're gonna do is this. You're gonna still grab your your band or towel, right? And you're gonna kind of put it over here this way. Now what you do from here is you're going to kind of like pull it to the side this way. Okay? And then you can kind of push your pelvis a little bit to the right side. Bend the elbow. You should feel a stretch, nice stretch down the side. You're gonna come back. Shift to the other side, bend the elbow and to the other side. Okay, you can do it for 30 seconds. Okay, ready? And we go. So shift to the side. Shift to the side. So allow the pelvis to shift as I go to the right. I shift my pelvis to the right. Hey, sorry, as I go to the okay, as I go to the right, I shift my pelvis to the left. Just a bit more. One last one. And rest. Hi, Zhang Yi. Okay, so far so good. So now next. Check it out, you may feel, it's, if you have not done this before, you can feel that your shoulders, your, your back, right, and your tricep especially, uh, even your grip, they, are quite, they are work quite hard. So next, we're going to work on some, uh, we're going to make a circular motion with this, right? So watch me first. You are going to go from here, right, I pull, I'm going to show you from this angle. I'm going to pull this back, okay? So here, right hand up, right hand back, left hand up, front, okay, so here, right, back, okay, so you're basically kind of like bringing, pulling them back, and here, so allow your pelvis to move. See that? Okay, so we're just going to go from right to the left and back, right? So one direction first. Hi, Joyce. Okay, for 30 seconds. Okay, remember the same rule apply, right? You want to be able to lock your arms. Okay, so I pull it apart. My pelvis shift to the right, back. Okay. 
and rest. Okay, you're gonna go the other direction. Okay, ready? And you're gonna go the other way. So here, pull. Left hand to the right hand corner. And then let the pelvis come in and play. Okay, so far so good. So you're going to find that as you turn, like the muscles around your trunk, your abdominals, your obliques, your back, they can't get work, right? Okay, so that is to prep us for this. So what I'm going to show you next is this, right? We are going to do a, a bridge, okay? So what we're going to kind of break it down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is this. You use the wall, place both hands on it, right? At about um, eye level, somewhere between eye level and shoulder level. Okay, now from here I'm going to put my right foot in front. Okay, I'm going to think about pushing the wall away and pressing my chest down between the shoulders. So I'm going to push. So I should feel a stretch on my shoulders, my back, and maybe even my hamstrings. So let me pause there for about 10 times. Okay, ready? Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then switch legs. So the other side, put the other leg in front. Same thing, push back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And keep hang out there, and rest. Okay, so next, from here, we're still going to be here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Stand facing the wall this way. Okay, I'm gonna take my left hand, reach here. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of like try to push away, and should get a nice stretch down the side. So I'm kind of like here, I push away. My weight is on my left leg. So go one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to go here. Okay, push in. Push the pelvis away. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, they were playing with the beanbags. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Seven and eight. Good. Okay. Yeah. So if your shoulder is limited, um, so sorry, if your shoulder is limited, right, you can't bring it up like this. You can find it's really hard. But what I would say is that you still want to try to... Okay, so we're going to do the next one. So just now we did this, right? And then just now we did this. So what I'm trying to do is to... Uh, limit how high you go. Okay, or how low you go. So the higher I go, or if I keep it here, and I don't push out so much, it may be easier on my shoulder. Okay, so what we're trying to do is to try and find because the shoulder is the ball and socket joint, you're trying to find room to move around it. Okay? So 
yeah, so if you have frozen shoulder, you may find, you can break down movement, you may find that it's really hard to be here. So you may have to work on something like trying to be here. This way, right? Like you're able to be here. And you're trying to slowly reach sideways and here. Okay? So, so you can actually try, so, uh, so long as there's no pain. There may be some tension, but you don't want it to be sharp pain, right? Okay, so next, what we're going to do, we're going to combine the movements. We're going to teach you to rotate. It looks like this. So, <sighs> sorry for the distraction, Anna. <laughs> or maybe it's an entertainment. Okay. So, I'm going to place my left hand here. Okay, I press it into the wall. Now, you want to press through the heels of your palms, like here. Almost like you karate chop, right, something. So watch me. I'm pressing it like this. Right? Like chopping the wall. I press into it. Girls, you want to bring uh, Ella inside the room? Bring her inside the room because she's running around. Okay, so here. So, I'm going to take mine. Right leg, right? Step through. So this looks familiar, right? So I'm here. And I come back. Okay, so again. So, step. And back. Okay, give it a try. So karate chop, right? Press in. Right leg step through. So I will, I'm in the same position I was in just now. Okay. And then what I'm going to ask you to do is to try and keep twisting. And you end up here. Okay. One more time. Press. Okay. Right leg. Step through. Press into the wall. I'm into the same position now here. I'm going to keep the knee. Press my hands away. And I'm here. Okay, so it's like a chest stretch right here. Okay, we're going to try that. For one minute. So just the... Just whichever arm, okay? I'm showing you this side first because I'm looking at the screen. Okay, ready? So karate chop, right? Here. Step my right leg through. Press in, I'm here. Twist. Push away. I can hold here for a while. I will stretch my wrists and my chest muscles. I come back. Press in again. Step through. And back. Okay, if you feel dizzy, stop in between. Okay, I think we've got 10 more seconds, 15 more seconds. So notice how I'm pressing my hands, it's like this. How's that for everyone? So far, so good. Okay. We're going to try the other hand. Now, okay, so before we do the other side, we can break it down, right? For example, if you find that, I'm going to show you on this side. For example, if you find that this is difficult for you, then what we can start to do is we can start with here which is just standing here like this I turn and place my palm here I push it in Okay I try and press my palms in straighten my wrist and my um, my elbow right I press in and I look away so I will get a stretch right from my forearms all the way to my chest muscles so I kind of work at the end position a little bit I can even rotate my elbows see that? 
and then after that, I come back to the same thing. I'm going to step my left leg through, and I'm back here, and it should feel better. Okay, one more time. So I'm here. Step my left leg through. Karate chop, right? Palms, use of the palms, press in. And I'm back. Got it? Gonna try? One minute, right? Okay, you ready? And go. So, right palm, left leg, step through. Here. Okay, and again. So if it's if you don't have to be very low, right, you can be higher as well. It will be easier. Right? You can hang out here for a while, feel the stretch, feel the stretch on dominoes. And one more. If you feel dizzy, just rest. Everybody okay? Can't turn because of the left hip on both sides need me or only uh, or only one side. Okay. So before we move on, I just want to say right, all this movement can be broken down. So if you can't do them the way we just did it, right? Like the rotation, you can break them down into parts. So you can just start with this. Okay, I can just push in. <laughs> okay, I can do this. I can work on this. Okay, and also I can stand here, reach my hands back, right? I'm gonna show you this hand so you can see. I can reach my hands back, work on this. I can stand here, reach his hand back. Work on this. So there are quite a few positions you're working, right? I work this position separately, right? I work this position. I work this position. Now, if I can't be here, maybe I can be here. And then I work this position. So you work them separately. And once you find that you are comfortable in all of them, then you can string them together. Does it make sense? Because if you work them separately and it doesn't hurt you, right? Then, uh, then maybe that's where you 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 need to be. Okay. Does that help you, Nimi? Okay. So next. We are going to uh, play a little game with it, right? Not game. So it's like you're going to alternate between the left and the right. It's more like a coordination exercise. So watch me first. I press my left uh, right hand in. I'm going to step through, come back, place my right hand in my left hand, step through. So I alternate between my left and my right, right? Go slow. Okay? So for those of you that can't do the turning, then what I'm going to ask you to do is to just stand like this. Okay? Or just stand like this and work on trying to stretch this way. Shift this way. And stretch this way. So twist. Can? For those of you that have no problem, um, or it's easier, you're going to alternate between left and right, right? So just go here. Okay? Now, 
before you yeah separately first is better okay now before you start right the lower you go the harder it is right so it can start from here you can even place the hands high up here yeah imagine your boyfriend or your girlfriend holding your hand this way in a dance and you just touring right touring around it can be higher going low will demand a lot on your core and your shoulder going higher will be easier so start high okay so from there okay one more time make sure the higher version first take your time press one hand in karate chop right this is important so that it allows you to pivot here turn place the other hand and turn got it okay we'll try for a minute right hello buku okay if you feel dizzy go slow okay ready and we go step through This one minute feels quite long. Okay, and rest. Okay, now if you move your shoulders, your back, it feels quite nice. So, everybody still okay so far? We're gonna add one last piece, right, to, to this. So, we have all seen people, um, we have all seen people do bridge on the floor, right? You know, when you have people like this, and then they put their hands here. push out right now um, there's a lot of benefit to it but you don't have to do it on the floor like this you can there are ways to do it against the wall as well I'm going to show you so watch me right all the cats are here <laughs> okay so from here I place my left hand we do exactly the same thing but I'm going to stop somewhere so watch me here I place my hand here high it up about maybe my eye level I'm going to step through but I'm going to stop here I'm going to show you this hand so it's clearer I'm going to step through but it's going to end here okay now you want this to be relatively comfortable if you're not you can move the feet closer I'm going to place the other hand there and I'm just going to imagine I'm pushing my squeezing my buttocks muscles looking up at the ceiling and pushing myself away you don't want any pain in the shoulder you don't want any pain in your back okay so do what you can you can push up and down and then I come back so one more time press in karate chow right pivot stops here push away I'm still in the karate chop position Come back got it one last i'm going to show you one more time right and i'm going to try it so karate chop right hand step through push away and back okay we're going to try for a minute but I want you to try and alternate between the right and the left, right? Uh, 
No, actually let's try one side first in case it confuse you. So same thing. We're gonna try just for 30 seconds. Okay, ready? So 30 seconds, right? For one uh, on one side. You ready? Remember, if it's very difficult for you, for some of you they are like stiffer, place the hands higher and go closer. Okay, ready? And we go. So, yeah. I'm going to stop here. Push away. Push away. Come back here. Pivot. Stop here. Push away. Come back here. One last one. Okay. All good. Now let's try the other side. Same thing, just 30 seconds. Ready? And go. So, I grab the chop with my left hand. Step through. I'm going to hang out here. Push away. Come back. Step through. And up here. Push away. Squeeze the buttocks muscles. One last one. And relax. How was that? You'll be good if you give me some feedback, right? So I know whether it's too difficult, too easy, um, or where you're stuck. Now, just kind of like feel how the shoulders, the wrists, the elbows, and even the, the trunk, right? The spine, how it feels after all the twisting. It's quite a nice um, move to kind of loosen up the whole um, the whole body, right? Okay? Everyone okay? Uh, anyone has any questions? Any problems? Yeah. So when you squeeze glutes, it allows you to kind of like um, Engage the abdominals and keep the spine a bit safer. Yeah, so it's a very good upper torso uh, and shoulder workout. So you actually can't really loosen up the shoulders, right? Okay. Um, so the other day, somebody asked me, actually it was my sister. So she said, like, there are so many videos, right? Like, so which one are we supposed uh, like to do and so on? So. So some, so some days you realize it's more on balance and coordination. Some days it's more um, strength. So lower body strength, upper body and lower body strength. Um, or some days more groundwork. So a lot of pushing the ground away, getting out of the ground. So they are all different. So what you want is to have a mix of both. But if you realize what, we, what I have been trying to do is like, on days that I work your muscles really hard, the next day we usually do uh, like flexibility and mobility kind of stuff or we work on balance yeah, like yesterday we work uh, quite hard on other, other things right and then after that today we work on more like circular rotational kind of move so the goal is to try and alternate between all these <laughs> so um, yeah so having said that right I'm in the midst of trying to look through all the videos I did previously and kind of like put in instead of just the date and then daily moves I'm trying to kind of catalog it like okay what we did that day um, so that it will be helpful for those of you that wants to go back and refer to it right uh, in future okay so uh, if you have no questions then I will see you guys on Monday have a Great weekend with your family. Thank you for joining me.
Okay? See you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Sashi. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Michelle.